Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS feature demonstration. In this video, we will walk through the VMware Cloud on AWS web console interface and the tasks that can be performed in it. After logging in, you'll see a dashboard with all the software-defined data centers, or SDDCs, that have been created. Clicking the square icon on the top right of your screen, you will see many services and administration items that you can use, such as managing user accounts, viewing the console, and the list of enabled services. Clicking the dropdown next to the username will allow you to see information about your current organization, including your organization ID. Clicking on View Organization will allow you to choose a new display name for your organization. You can also view your profile, change your password, and generate an OAuth refresh token which can be used for authentication of API calls against the VMware Cloud on AWS API. After you click Create a new token, you can begin API calls using the generated token. Please note that each token expires after six months. If you are associated to more than one organization, you may also select a default organization here. Going back to the main console, let's click on TMM SDDC. As you can see, there is a summary overview of the resource utilization. By clicking on the Support tab, you'll see detailed information about your environment that can be used when working with VMware support. This information, such as the organization ID, SDDC ID, and vCenter IP address, may be useful when obtaining support through the intercom chat service. The chat service can be launched through the icon in the bottom right corner of the page. By clicking on this, you will be placed in touch with the VMware support who can help resolve your issues. Next, when you click on the Connection Info tab, you will see links to both the HTML5 client and the API Explorer, as well as the username and password that can be used to log into your vCenter server for the first time. You can also copy and paste Power CLI code to log in quickly through PowerShell. Heading to the Network tab, you can see a diagram of your VMware Cloud on AWS networking layout. There is a management gateway and compute gateway for their respective workloads. Scrolling down, you will see the firewall rules that have been created for our management network. These include things such as virtual machine remote console access, inbound access to vCenter, and more. You may set up a VPN for your management network. We also have the ability to edit the settings after it has been created and established. Under DNS, you can set the DNS servers for your management network, as well as determine if your vCenter is privately accessible via VPN. Under the Compute Gateway, you can see the logical networks that were created using the vSphere web client. These are NSX logical networks that are attached to the distributed switch. You can also see and add additional firewall rules for your compute network. Once firewall rules are successfully added, you'll be able to add NAT entries for their respective workloads. As with the management VPN, you may also work with your compute VPN. Below the VPN row, you will find information about the Amazon VPC that is associated to this SDDC. Your DNS rules exist for your compute networks, and you may request public IPs simply by clicking Request a new public IP, adding a note for what the IP is for, and clicking Request. As you can see, we have now received an additional public IP that can be used by our workloads in the compute network. Going back to the summary page, we can see details about the CPU memory and storage of our SDDC. Clicking on the Actions button on the top right will allow you to add hosts, remove hosts, or delete your SDDC. Adding hosts will provision additional physical hosts from AWS infrastructure, configure the ESXi hypervisor, add the host to the cluster, and sync the vSAN data. Lastly, the question mark icon on the top right will bring up a help menu, as well as an FAQ with additional links to the community forms and legal documentation. The bell icon located to the left of the question mark icon will display notifications of actions taken in the VMware Cloud on AWS console. This concludes the VMware Cloud on AWS feature demonstration. Thank you.